So hi guys, today I would like to show you the transmission problem and the first example will be solved by the Fogel method. So what I would like to tell you about. So for example we have three warehouses and this is one, this is two, this is three. And we have four customers. One, two, three, four. So if you want to transport some goods to one and uh, to the second, third and fourth uh, customers, we have some costs. For example, from the first warehouse to the first customer, it costs three dollars, eight dollars and five, seven. From the second warehouse, five, three, six, four. And from the third, nine, two, eight, five. <coughs> And also we should keep in mind that each warehouse has its own supply and we have 70, 70, 70 and each customer has its his own demand 60, 50, 40 and 60. So what we have to keep in mind this method. We should first of all compute all our penalties and to compute penalties we have to find in each row and in each column the smallest cost the lowest cost yes for example in the first column in the first row we find three and five and we find that this the, the difference between these two uh, figures is two between this one is three and four it's one two and five three here is one he is 1, he is 1, he is 2, because 2 minus 3 is 2. And we find that the third row is has the largest <coughs> largest penalty, that's why we have to find the smallest cost that we can use to transport our goods, and we find that the third warehouse can transport 50 goods to the customer too, because it has a supply 70, so we still have some some supply, but we, the custom two is already satisfied. So we just put here fifty. Here we have zero. Here we have twenty. We still have twenty, but we don't need to use this column anymore. So what else we have to do? We have to find the next steps. The next steps we have to find again again the penalties and this row we still have two <coughs> in this row we still have one because five minus four is one in this row we still have three and in this row we still have one we still have here one and here we still have two so again the third row has the largest penalty and we can use the lowest cost that we can incur so we use the third warehouse to transport 20 goods to the customer for. We put here 20. Here we have 0. We don't use this row anymore. Here we still have 40. 40 goods we have to transport to satisfy this client. Now we have to find again the penalties. Here we still have... No, we, we still have 2. Here we still have 1. Here we still we have 3. Here one, here two. So here three, and we have to use the cast the the uh, the, the column four. We find the lowest element in its four. We use this one. We put here forty. Here we still have thirty. We don't use this column anymore. So now we can proceed. Here we still have two. Here we still have one. Here is still one, and here we still have two. So we use this row or this column because here the penalty two and here the penalty is two. So we use this three because this is the lowest cost that we can incur. So here we can put sixty. Here we don't have anything. Here we still have ten. We don't use this column anymore, and we still have these columns. So we can just put here ten because we don't have any more. 
in supply. Here we have 30, and this custom is also satisfied. Other we have to find the total cost. Total cost can be found we just 180 plus 100 plus 100 plus 180 plus 160 plus 15 it's it's 770 dollars we have to pay to satisfy all our customers